Good evening. Or good morning. Good afternoon. Actually, it's quarter to four. Actually, 3.55. Actually, 3.50. I don't know how to read the analog clock. Anyways, today is a solo day. And you may be confused about that, but what that means is I don't have Iron Chef or Pico Nico with me. So I decided to go to the Ramen Museum. We're in Yokohama. It's gonna be interesting, and we'll see what happens. The goal of today, it's quite simple. Get some ramen, and then maybe eat some kokoichi. The very first that led to many and many and many more. All of this giant industry and walls of noodles survived on the backs of salary men and college students alike. Fun fact of the day, this cup noodle is not microwavable and never has been, but I microwaved it every single time in college. That's probably why I have so many problems. Oh well. This is my mission. I'm going to find this and eat it. Unidentified flying object. I really want this one. Mainly because of the design. This one sounds amazing. It's like a wasabi mayo. That actually sounds so good and unhealthy for me and I want it. Dude, this duck is everywhere. I want, it's so cute. I know it's a mascot or something, but I'm really here for it. I fit with this chicken and apparently there's an ad where he gets really buff and like, I want to find it. I also want to find this as a whole. Also, this sounds gross. Milk seafood, what does that mean? I bet it's not and I bet I'm just being a baby. So this is the worldwide consumption of noodles in 2022. America's kind of slacking. I feel like we should get more, come on. So this is a recreation of Mamafuku Ando, who's the first creator of Instant Ramen. Here's his profile if you guys want to check him out. But he created Instant Ramen back in 1958, and this was his little shack, his work shack, as they call it. It's a recreation of it of where he made it. But this is his little workshop. And then right here is the first pot that he had. They said that he watched his wife make tempura, and that's how he came up with the idea to make the noodles themselves. Really smart, really cool. The man, the myth, the legend. Mr. Noodle. We're still at the Instant Ramen Factory and there's a spot in here actually where you can like come in and get different kinds of noodles throughout the world. We got a um, Malaysian noodle that we're gonna try here today and we also got a Vietnamese drink called um, Bird's Nest. It says white fungus on it and I'm not very too thrilled about that. <laughs> I have no idea what that means, but I wonder if it's some kind of mushroom drink if it says white fungus. That says to shake well and we'll see. Um, so here's, I have no, Mm. Nails. I have to ask a babysitter to get it. One of my friends is here that I met up with that lives in Japan, and he happened to get it for me. Thank you. Mm. All right. Interesting. It's very sweet and there's kind of chunks in it, but I don't know what it is. It kind of almost tastes like boba. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. Not my favorite thing, but I, I could see how people could like it. And I'm not gonna say it tastes like piss, don't worry. All right, and now we're gonna try the Malaysian soup noodle. It's called laksa. It's a unique noodle blend. Laksa is generally a spice curry and a mild sweet coconut milk. So we'll see, this is a good shot of it. We have a little dude right here. We got extra cilantro piece of tofu, and I think these are mushrooms right here, and some daikon. I like these nudes. I fuck with these nudes. Yo, I could get behind this. I don't know how to describe it. It has a really good umami and a very good seafood taste, and it's not really that spicy. I don't taste the coconut milk, which is good, because I really don't like coconut, but now I taste the coconut. Okay, this is actually really good. If you guys get the chance, try it. I would give the spice itself like a two out of 10. Like I'm not feeling anything, I'm not gonna die. So we'll see. Yeah, cheers. I'm on my way to your mom's house, bringing that instant noodle package. Dude, I would drive this thing any day of the week. I'm gonna import it. We'll see how much it costs. <laughs> Wait, this is so sick. Apparently here you can create your own ramen noodle and design it all. Unfortunately, I overslept, so I'm not able to do it because it's all sold out. Ugh, goodbye.
We've finished up at the Cup Noodle Museum. Overall, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 experience because one, I wasn't able to do the instant noodle where you make your own instant noodle, which sucks, but it's fine. It only cost 500 yen, which was pretty nice. Overall, can't complain too much. And then it cost $500, $500, 500 yen for the noodles as well. And for that drink, it was like 200 yen. So if you have a casual 1200 yen going, you're all good to go. If you get the chance, come, just make sure you get here early and don't ever sleep like I do because you drank too much the night before. Sounds good, sounds good, bet. He looks so uncomfortable. <laughs> Good evening. I have found the best bathroom. I know I typically only review bathrooms of like the hotels that I'm in, but this one is great. First off, look at the aesthetic around. Chef's kiss. And then we have the toilet. It has everything you need. Heated seat, the day, and the flush control. And all this, you can play the movie. You can do everything you need. But first off, though, the toilet itself may only be a seven out of 10. The aesthetic of this room is fantastic. Fan fantastic. This is a 10 out of 10 bathroom. Take notes. I'm faded. I'm faded. There's a members only bar. There's a members only bar. So, members only bar. <laughs> Bro, I think I'm crawling. I think I'm faded. I think I think I'm faded. <laughs> hey, 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 Han. I think I'm faded. I think I'm faded. I think I'm faded. Bro, I think I'm faded. <laughs> Kampai. <laughs> Praise be to the Japanese 99. I wait, go 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 again. This guy gets it. Pugs, this guy gets it. Asahi shots. Good morning. We are currently standing in our wonderful hotel room. Don't show the floor there because it's kind of gross. We found these Tom and Jerry cheese chocolates and we're going to try them. Well, Pico found them. Dude, I love money. <laughs> we also have a lot of coins on the bed, but that's fine. Here, you want to open it? Oh. That's pretty good. That's nowhere near as bad as I thought it would be. It tastes like a rice cake. I'm liking it less as time goes on. Yeah, I don't think I like this. I think this was an L purchase. It was only like 80 cents. Oh, I think my thing is dying. All right, bye. Good afternoon and welcome back. I think it's the afternoon time. We're currently in Koko Ichibanya. If you don't know, it's Japanese curry. And as you can see in front of me, right here, I have their hottest curry sauce. And I have no idea how this is gonna be because I got three last time, Pico. I got three? Yeah, that's three. And I think even that, I was like, Jesus, that's really hot. And I was kind of sweating. And this is, you know, almost 10 times that. Please like and subscribe for my tummy. <laughs> I haven't said that at all in the entire trip, so yeah, there we go. It's honestly not, it, it's really not that spicy. Really? Yeah, but I don't feel it up front. Maybe I'll feel it in the back end. I wonder if it's an additive one too. Smash cut to the bathroom. Yeah, smash, just instant cut to the bathroom. Maybe doing hot ones is, uh, has, oh. <clears throat> okay, it's hit me. <laughs> As you can see, it looks like cement pan down to it. As you can see, it looks like tar. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
I hope you got that on video. <laughs> it's done. This is about all that I have left. I'm not going to complete it. It's definitely pretty spicy. It's not as spicy as I think it would be. Like, I thought it would be worse. But the hot ones that I did was definitely worse. Pico tried it as well. What were your thoughts? Um, he must have, like, an iron tummy because that shit hurted. And I don't like it. Overall... Spice tolerance wasn't that bad, but it definitely lingers, which is not great. If this video gets 5,000 likes, no way. <laughs> I'm not even going to be here again when this video goes out. I'll do this. Last one for you guys. But thanks for joining. Hope you guys enjoyed that. See you soon. All right, Fumi, you may have to cut this out, but we're gonna see how we do. Ugh. I'm probably gonna be horrible, and you may have to cut out the audio. <laughs> Woo, this is hard, man. All right, I'm facing Han. I have to see who's gonna win. Good luck, Good luck. may the best man win. For the camera, you didn't see it. I went for the handshake and then took it back and slicked back my hair. And that's gonna come and bite me in my ass. Dun, 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 dun. That was tough. Thank you. What? I won. What? You did you? We yeah, don't know. Yeah. I, I know. Oh. 6571. He did this. Go, made the best man win. Damn. Han got 71. I got 65. Oh, Fuck.